Life ours. Your digital world. Secured. Welcome in our video. Today we will speak about our monitoring and incident response services. Imagine a situation in which a user receives an email designed to look like a legitimate one. Such an email can be so trustworthy that the user gets tricked and opens or executes its attachment. While it seems that nothing happened, the attacker is already prepared and he is waiting. He is waiting for the execution of his malicious attachment, which acts as a backdoor to the victim computer. The attacker is able to see the system information and all of the victim's files and data. He can connect to the remote command line and executes any commands or programs on the victim computer. In this video, the Windows calculator is used as an example. In addition, the attacker can also view the same content as his victim C, using the screen capture feature. But the attacker is not alone who is watching. Our monitoring team is doing its job well and our guys are watching, too. Of course, they are watching for the presence of attacker. Alert! Something is detected by behavioral rules. Let's investigate it. Some suspicious executable has been dropped to the user directory by another executable which pretends to be an Excel spreadsheet. Process tree gives us more clue about what is happening. Here we see creation of scheduled task for persistence. There are also a couple of command lines executed, and, the execution of the Windows calculator is logged too. Of course, the attacker uses the calculator in our example. Now, let's look at another process of fake Excel spreadsheet executable. Focusing on the files created by this process, we will find the directory name Remcos. And Remcos is known remote control and surveillance software used by various threat actors. Continue with the examination of the files written by this process. Here, is a file called logs.dat inside of the Remcos directory. What does it contain? We will get this file directly from the Fidelis console using the collect feature. The file collection task has been started and after a couple of seconds we will see the content of the logs.dat file. It is clearly readable and it looks like logs of the victim activity. To be more specific, it also contains keylogger data and we can see the characters typed by victim in the notepad application. Okay, now return back to the behavioral analysis of the malicious Remcos process. It makes connections to the attacker command and control server. We should stop this malicious activity immediately, and block the communication with the attacker. Our incident responders terminate the running Remcos process and blacklist the attacker's IP address. They will also clean all of the malicious artifacts from the network of our client. The attacker is not able to use his backdoor anymore. Life ours. Your digital world. Secured.